because I, I heard I heard from a little bird that you were once a mascot for a uh, minor league baseball team. I was. So oh I'm going to start there because I always, I always like poking on people for their fun facts. Like actually, uh-huh. I think about it now the oldest person on this podcast might have been Barry Soames, who is an author. Um, in in from Maine, and he was in clown college, like way back in the day. <laughs> so that was his fun fact. Like any fun facts, yeah. we'll see what, what we can go down. So tell me about your time as a mascot for a minor league baseball team. Um, well, it, it, I, I actually worked five summers, and that was one of the jobs. I was a bat boy. Um, and this was the Double A affiliate of the Expos. Uh, Tim Raines was on wow. that team. That's wow. uh, Terry Francona was on that team. Wow. Uh, it, yeah, there are a couple of there. There are a couple of other big names that are escaping me right now. But those are the two that um, I bumped into Tim Raines and talked to him about it. And, he, and God knows he didn't remember me, but it's just because he's around the the um, around the White Sox. Um, but yeah, I've never. I've always. I got to get to a game and get within earshot of Terry Francona and just try to get his attention for a second and go, Hey, by the way, you know, you and I, you and I were both on the Memphis Chicks. Uh, then, um, the next, the next summer, uh, they needed somebody to put on the, uh, the big pink suit and I volunteered. I got 25 bucks a game. I got free beer at the end of the game in the locker room with the players. Uh, even when I was a bat boy as well, uh, they, they didn't really frown on 13 and 14 year olds drinking back then. Uh, but I spent a season as, um, blooper for the Memphis chicks, which I don't know how blooper and, you know, I mean, I understand where the phrase comes from, but uh, the Chicks were were an Indian-based team. You think they may have gone that direction, but maybe they were had enough foresight not to go in that direction. Uh, with maybe the a little, little, little yeah. too, a little too on the nose. Yeah. So yeah. I, I've never actually spoken to a mascot, but I've always had a few questions. I've always wanted to ask because some mascots are just incredible, right? You try uh-huh. to talk to them, they don't actually talk to you because that's part of the job. Yep. Some of them take it very, very, very seriously. I remember uh, the Billiken. Um, um, was that St. Louis? Yeah, Saint, the yeah. St. Louis Billiken came into came into work one day. I got a picture with it, and I know ever since everyone thinks I went to St. Louis. But no, like this guy was like doing backflips in studio and doing his crazy stuff. And like I wanted to ask him, it's like so when you take a picture with someone, right? Like if, if uh-huh. a little kid a little kid comes up, you're interacting, you do the wave, you take a picture. Yeah. Do you smile? Under yeah. the, under under you the know head? what? I've never thought about it before, but yeah, um, you're you're yeah. I, I, your body, your body language is, still that, transfers over. Yeah, and and I, um, yeah, I, I've done more recent mascot work. Um, I th- the the reason that that I I go yeah right off the bat was because I for for my kids grade school uh, normally they'd have a teacher that would put on the bear suit for mm-hmm. different events. And the kids would all try to guess what teacher it was. So to fool them, <laughs> I started being the uh, the Lane School bulldog. And when I would see my kids, but they, and they would know it's me, um, I'd get a big old grin on my face. So yeah, I, and that's why I reacted so quickly that's was, funny. um, yeah, you just, you know, automatically, if, if this were only audio instead of having video on, I think my face would look exactly the same as, you know, the, my expressions. So, like, so you, know, always, you can think of it funny, like right? that. Like, you, you see, you see Mickey Mouse or Goofy at Disney, right? And always like, Oh, hoo, yeah. hi. And it's like an, are they are they going ha who ha ha? Are they just going Yeah. <laughs> like like all all sad face because they're it's 90 degrees and they're a fucking oh, giant yeah. Mickey Mouse costume. I, you know, a hundred degrees at game time on the Astro Turf and I'm wearing a big pink fuzzy suit. Uh, well uh, the, the the expos, the shame the expos yeah. aren't around anymore. Montreal mm-hmm. Expos. They had great players. They had um no Clemens on the Blue Jays. Uh, Charlie they Lee. Had Vlad Guerrero. Uh-huh. Um Tony, the Tony Guino, he's on the Padres. I can't remember. Yeah, he was a on, Padre on um on Expos right now. But the biggest one was Vlad Guerrero, and mm-hmm. then now that now that now the Nationals they moved there in two thousand five, from what yeah. I remember. So big baseball fan, Russell. Uh, I have been off and on. You know, being with the minor minor league team, yeah, you know, probably paid more attention to to baseball than anything else yeah. growing up. Uh, it seems to have have shifted to college. Uh, and it, maybe because I've been, I, I was at Loyola when they made their final four run, you know, and now I'm at Indiana, which has a really good basketball team and plays football, but I have, yeah, I have schools that I I'm willing to pay attention to now, as opposed to maybe in the past. 
So I've kind of gone in that direction. Uh, I bore people to death and, and actually have people that I root for in golf. Mm. If you can imagine that. So uh, Oklahoma State, where I just got my PhD, has uh, a handful of uh, alums that play on the PGA Tour, uh, like um, Victor Hovland, who I just think is probably, he's probably a complete dick in person, but at least on camera and everything I've heard, he is just the nicest, most genuine guy on God's green earth. You know, and then um, Ricky Fowler uh, also went to Oklahoma State. Um, you know who he's married to? I have no idea. He's married. There, there's, you know, there are always uh, different, you know, pictures of gorgeous girls that just kind of catch on forever, never, never. Yep. And there's one of a pole vaulter. That's actually his uh, his wife. Oh, super and, cool. Yeah, yeah I do, he, I do, he married. I he play. He's got a great job, and he married very well. I, I do know Ricky Fowler. Uh, I used to play golf high school and then as soon as i turned 18 it got too expensive to play it was like 60 dollars a round for like 18 holes which honestly not that bad of a deal but when you're 18 and broke you you stop that's your budget man yeah that's your budget right that's what that's like it gets like a gallon of gas these days it's a full tank of gas depending on what car you drive 